how you guys doing welcome to the show got good news got good news we are now part of the illinois news broadcaster association next week we're going to be talking about all the changes that we've been doing with insane throttle to bring it just to the news aspect of everything uh, that includes all our platforms. We are now going to be working on a Saturday show, a news recap that will be broadcast over 30 different platforms, including the radio, including the podcast. It is getting a lot of big stuff that is happening with Insane Throttle. Uh, that association plus, you know, the online news association that we're a part of as well. Two big associations that will try to help get out both sides of the story so that will be coming up next week uh the whole dang deal everybody knows that uh, also an old school magazine is in the works with myself uh, and black dragon and uh it's <sighs> gonna be something good man uh everything that we've been working on is really gonna benefit everybody we're gonna have spots in there where mcs can give their thoughts we're gonna be covering all sorts of different stuff happening in the scene not just the white set but all sets something that hasn't been done in one magazine so a lot of stuff be on the lookout for that on monday uh we'll give a recap of everything again like i said today i'm actually kind of surprised with harley davidson wait till you see what they are bringing back that everybody thought was axed I couldn't believe it myself, man. I couldn't. Uh, the first story we got coming up is going to be dealing with an unlicensed driver that killed a motorcyclist. And we're going to see if they're going to actually do something about that. Everybody knows hit and runs have been big the last year. Laws need to be passed as far as drivers killing motorcyclists, whether it be hit and runs, no licenses, uh, the whole nine yards. Then we're going up to Canada, where it seems like our main story, there was an assassin that took out a collector and another good one. And this is amazing, this story, because these two types of people, they do not get along. And it seems like there's a club out there that has bridged that gap. Maybe there's something to learn. Maybe there's not. Who knows? But let's get to this program. Okay, we are going here right now to New York. It's actually out of New Jersey. Here we go. Uh, out of New York, Channel 4, NBC, unlicensed driver charged in motorcycle death of off-duty New Jersey officer. This according to the prosecutor. Morden Otondo, an off-duty police officer, died in a vehicle crash in jersey city there's a picture of them right there prosecutors say the driver involved in the traffic collision that resulted in death of an off-duty new jersey officer did not have a valid license the officer later identified as 40 year old morton otondo was driving a yamaha motorcycle traveling east uh, uh, when it collided with a Ford Escape, said State of Affairs, uh, it occurred shortly before 2 a.m. Uh, sad stuff. And actually, it took all this time, six months after the crash, to be charged with one count of causing death while driving unlicensed. Uh, the prosecutor said an investigation in the collision revealed the 30-year-old did not have a valid driver's license. He surrendered himself 
to authorities and was released on summons. I guess it's that new bond deal that everybody's talking about, but I won't go into politics right there. Uh, but it took six months. And it does surprise me because he was a police officer, so you think that they would have hit that stuff. And I already know the haters are going to come at me. Why are you covering a story? We're covering everything from now on. We are separating ourselves from all that ideology. We're covering the news, and we're going to try to cover it better than CNN and all them stuff. Anyway, this is one of the big stories I was talking about. And it's funny because... Dibber and the wind actually went to the Holy Land and said they keep all that stuff separate. Everybody comes together as one. None of that matters. Jews and Muslims ride for peace in this unique motorcycle club, and it really is unique. Uh, skull patches are out. Skull caps are in. Denmark's Muja and Company Biker Club uh, who members dream of a Middle East road trip. And if you're on the radio, come look at the YouTube channel. There's a picture of them right there. Oh, it, and it's even better, man. All different makes and models of bikes. Looks like an old Honda right there. Anyway, they celebrate Ramadan and Hanukkah together, guard Jewish cemeteries on the anniversaries. What can I say, you know... I'm going to leave this article in the description box because now I have to subscribe. I guess you only get one look at this one when you're about to do it. But I really think that it is something when them type of religions can come together, break those barriers and have peace. Maybe it's something for uh, the MCs to learn. There's hatred here, man, between them two religions. And if they can do it, hey, maybe you guys can. But it is what it is, man. Uh, going up to Canada for our main story here. Hells Angels debt collector taken out an elaborate plot orchestrated by four assassins. This according to a prosecutor in a Myrtle trial. Michael De La Bita was shot dead shortly after 11 a.m., moments after ex exiting a gym. Joseph Pilato is 38 years old. There's this picture right there. Uh, now, the Crown alleges that four men on trial for first-degree murder formed a quartet of assassins who played various roles in an elaborate plot to kill a Hells Angel debt collector in 2019. During his closing address to the jury, Prosecutor Brian McGuire argued that the four men acted as a team. They had one goal. That was the murder of Michael, who was shot dead. Of course, they repeat themselves in that one. The men were unaware that he was under surveillance by police as part of the Ontario Provincial Police Probe into his suspected involvement in alleged elaborate, uh, elaborate illegal gambling operation. It's only illegal because the government don't get their cut. You know, let's be honest. Uh, he was observed by police collecting and delivering packages to numerous individuals. And that was during Project Holbert. We covered that one. Quote, this wasn't any botched robbery or collection, but a planned and deliberate murder who added that the killing had the hallmarks of a gangland-style murder, these men were meant to be untraceable. Uh, on the day of his murder, OPP investigators followed the biker to Huff Gym, where he did a workout routine. Police saw the biker running towards the gym after he was shot. Uh, the Crown alleges that the two primary shooters were Marcus Vilm and Brandon Rays, with Joseph Paletta and Mark Isa L. Corey serving as gateway drivers at the two separate locations. Quote, the two shooters were insured numerical superiority over their single target. Uh... So basically, he was under guidance and all that type of stuff, uh, being trailed by the cops up there in Canada. 
uh, was murdered. It was a hit. Read the rest of the story. All our stories are in the description box for you guys to read as well. Now, going over to Australia, our crazy Aussies. Always in the news. And this is out of, let's see here, the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. It's kind of like the Chicago Crime Commission. Two women were charged with money laundering for an outlaw motorcycle gang. Uh, the National Anti-Gang Squad arrested the two women aged 33 and 59 and accused them of property laundering. They face up to 20 years in jail. According to the investigators, May 2021, the women attempted to deliver to Perth two bags with hundreds of thousands of Australian dollars but the officers stopped them and seized the bags. Officers later discovered more money, which added to the previously seized amount, $716,000. I have to say, you guys got your game going on over there. Uh, it was called Ironside, the operation, and authorities allege that the women were keeping and laundering huge amounts of illegal cash in the name of the Comancheros outlaw motorcycle gang member uh, who is not living in Oz, as well as the money originates from his drug dealing. A lot more stuff on that story. Catch that one out. My favorite story of the day. Harley Davidson is going to be having a news conference on the 26th on its website. The 2022, everybody thought it was gone. The Harley Davidson Lowrider s there's details leaked in it and it is going to be getting according to the leaks a 117 cubic inch engine and taller suspension wow yes wow uh now last week it announced uh, the first batch of 2022 models uh several models that are returningly most unchanged except the new uh paint and graphics uh the absence of the iron 1200 were discontinued the lone exception was the lowrider s which we reported would be announced on the, the 26th well it didn't take long for the information according to them to come out confirming Harley-Davidson Lowrider S will indeed return for 2022 with the, the changes, including 117 cubic inch. And it said why they did not, and this is from Motorcycle.com, while we do not know the source of the two leaks, Motorcycle.com has been able to verify that the Lowrider S is coming back. It's going to be offered in vivid black and gunship gray. Uh, beautiful stuff, man, but with 116 cubes. Man, I got a 103, and that sucker's fast as hell. I can't even... Uh, 117 on this sucker? Uh, it shows a fuel tank graphic that looks sim similar to the 2021, uh, such as the engine's air cooling fins and cast wheels. There they go right there. But maybe Harley's having a change of heart all of a sudden, knowing that the these lowriders are popular as hell, especially on the West Coast. So everybody was surprised. We actually talked about this on the Independent Riders about some of the models that Harley-Davidson was getting rid of. And to hear this news is just fantastic, if you ask me. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Uh, the Lowrider S for 2022 with a 117 cubic inch motor unfreaking believable that's awesome man that sucks it's basically a rocket on wheels man i guarantee you to give some of these rockets out there some uh competition uh i love the dyna because it's so freaking light and you to move in and out uh just like the old sporties and stuff like that 
Only thing I don't like is the the sporty look anymore. My God, is it a freaking abomination? Anyway, don't forget you can uh, check out these articles yourself. And uh, again, we're going to be letting you know on our progress on all the other projects we got going on. Working 14, 15 hours a day to get all this stuff uh, out to you and all the different platforms man it's going to be a fun one it's going to be a good one and it's great to be able to go in a different direction with all the news and stuff like that because you know let's face it only myself and black dragon cover the news anyway we are out of here we'll talk to you later get on over there subscribe to all our podcasts those are our biggest platforms uh, don't forget to download the roku channel and you can do it on amazon fire tv go join our discord the links in the uh box over here catch you later to the extent that pending criminal matters are discussed on this website or youtube channel all such charges are merely accusations and all defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law